Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the 3-2 matchup zone defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about the 3-2 matchup zone defense. Now the 3-2 zone is obviously a zone, but it's a zone that protects really the, the other team from scoring more mid-range and three-point shots. Now... Couple that with a man-to-man -man defense and you're getting yourself a very good defense that has a lot of coverage ability. Now, the benefit to this is if you have two tall players and three forwards or three guards or something along those lines, this is a great defense because now you don't have to worry about switching and getting any kind of mismatches and things like that. So this is why a lot of NBA teams will use the 3-2 zone. Now let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this type of zone defense. So the idea behind this type of defense, the matchup zone, is that you are playing man-to-man -man defense but staying inside of a zone so that there's no mismatches and things like that that can happen. Mismatches can happen technically because you could get a, a guard down in the post. He's not going to do much against somebody who's taller than him so you don't have to worry that much. Le how I like to explain matchup zones, zones, and just defense in general is to have a 5-out like I do right here. And how I'm going to do that is... I'm going to have my players pass the ball around and they're going to be staying in their zones. Now, when the ball gets passed down to player 5, we can have one of two things that can happen. It depends on the coach and depends on the t on the team. So, against a 3-2, some coaches will say, well, player 5 can come out, player 4 can move over, player 3 can move down, which still technically works. However, how I like to work it myself is... To allow player 5 to stay in the post because I still like to guard the the low post. At first he'll take a step out to defend. But what I would have now is the players switch over so that now we're still in a 3-2. So there's two different ways there that you can run a low corner basketball. Now if you have a quick team, this is how you would run it how I just did it. However... If you don't have that quick of a team, what you would do is have player 5 pop out, player 4 to go over, and player 3 to come down to watch any kind of cross-court passes. So this would be a much tighter way of playing it, but at the same time, if you have a quick team, you can have player 5 move out, these players move over, now you've got a double team in this corner for a second, and now everyone kind of moves back down so that we're still protecting the paint. And then what I would do with my team as well is run a four out one in, just kind of pass around. And how we would run this is have player three pop up right here, player four move out, player one would follow, player three would then recover, player two would move up, player four would move back down. If the ball was to go down to the post, let's say it got swung around and the ball went down to the post. What we would have now is still player 4 guarding here. Player 3 is going to take a, move, a, a step down towards the key. Player 1 is going to be still within a step of player 1. And player 2 is, is within a step of player 3. Player 5 and 5 are going to be on him. It's very similar like a zone defense except when there is screens. This is the benefit to it. If there is a screen, they can just switch right off. And it doesn't matter if there's a if there's a pass and screen again doesn't matter so that's the kind of the benefit of a matchup zone is you you can switch without having to worry about having a mismatch when it comes to speed agility or anything like that if you have a team that has three players that are very similar and two bigger players this might be an option for you if you're playing in a league that does not allow a a player to sit defensively in a key for a set amount of time like the NBA does this is also a great way to get around it now if I have found some footage of a 3-2 zone uh, well I've shown you earlier but here are a few more
Anyways, I hope that this has explained the 3-2 matchup zone. Basically, what a matchup zone is, is pass, uh, or just basically a man-to-man a -man defense, but you're playing inside of a zone. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I hope that you like this shirt, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another Daily Basketball video.